What is going on everybody? Mikey Saps here and welcome to a video. This is how Mark Messier turned into Ryan Callahan and Martin St. Louis. A trade tree. So let's start off this trade tree with October 4th, 1991. The New York Rangers were desperate for a guy to bring them to the Stanley Cup and Mark Messier was that guy. They sent over Louis DeBrusque, Bernie Nicolk, Steven Rice and a future consideration which ended up being David Shaw. The Rangers received Marc Messier and Future Considerations, which ended up becoming Jeff Bukaboom, which also is important because Bukaboom helped the Rangers with Messier in the 94 Finals. Now let's take a look at Messier's stats with the New York Rangers. Played 698 regular season games, played 70 playoff games, and averaged a point a game for the club. Scored 250 goals, 441 assists, a grand total of 691 points. In Game 6 of the 94 Eastern Conference Finals, the Rangers were down 3 games to 2 and Marc Messier guaranteed a win and scored a hat-trick in New Jersey. They forced the Devils to a Game 7 and they win it in double overtime to send the Rangers to the Cup and history follows. He was a captain for 10 seasons for the Blue Shirts. Now will Jesper fast forward to summer of 1997, see what I did there? So in 1997, Marc Messier becomes a free agent and signs with the Vancouver Canucks. Now this technically breaks the trade tree, but I'm going to show you where it links back up. And now we'll move to the summer of 2000. Messier returns to the New York Rangers. So on June 30th, 2003, the San Jose Sharks and the New York Rangers made a deal. The Rangers sent over the rights to soon-to-be free agent Mark Messier to San Jose, and San Jose sent a future consideration 2004 fourth round pick, which ended up to be Ryan Callahan. So now you might be thinking, Messier never played for the San Jose Sharks. You're right. He hit free agency and signed back with the New York Rangers. Now here in the 2004 draft, we see Alexander Ovechkin and Evgeny Malkin, two Russian superstars go one and two. And how the Rangers got that 127 was from Mark Messier. Diving into Ryan Callahan's stats here with the New York Rangers, he played eight seasons and served three as their captain. Diving deeper into Callahan's stats, he played 450 games as a Ranger, three 20 goal seasons, five consecutive 30 point seasons, and that heart right there stands for him playing with so much heart as our captain. Cali was a guy who would just relentlessly sacrifice his body for the team, and it really showed, and he definitely deserved to see. So now the last link of the tree. Trade deadline 2014 rolls around, and the Lightning and Rangers begin negotiating a deal. The Rangers and Lightning, for the first time in history, swap captains. St. Louis goes to the Rangers, and Callahan to the Lightning. So there you have it, a trade tree that started from 1991 and ended in 2015 when St. Louis retired. But did it really start when Messier was traded to the Rangers? You could go back and track down where the guys that Messier were acquired for, where they came from. But I'm not doing that today. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's pretty cool to look back and see how players get to, you know, different franchises. Who would have thought that the conditional pick that the New York Rangers had was going to be one of their captains in the future? And that they would end up flipping him for a guy that would almost lead him to another Stanley Cup, like they did with Marc Messier. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, it would really mean a lot. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please leave your feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.